Clear reporting some good news. There could be bad news at Cleveland Bridge. And it seems like the northeast, the patch you cover and care about so much. There's so many comings and goings in terms of jobs. Look at the Tees Valley Development Authority. Jobs being created there. Nissan, you've been reporting on. Jobs being created there. But now at Cleveland Bridge, we could be losing a couple of hundred jobs. I mean, what are local hopes that the government may step in to help Cleveland Bridge, given that they just bought, didn't they, a steelworks in Sheffield, the Forge Masters Steelworks? They nationalised it. Again, I don't like it when we're lumped in with the North. For me, the North East is completely separate. I've said that from day one. People here have very much said this morning, I've spoken to so many people, people are very passionate about this story. The government should put the money where their mouth is. They're talking about levelling up. Now is your time to prove it. So we'll see if that happens. I don't know. Yes, this morning I was at um, Fujifilm. They've just had a £3.6 million investment. The Tees Valley is thriving. There's thousands of jobs at Gigafactories. Nissan's growing. There is plenty of opportunity for highly skilled workers. But this is a very important part of the North East system and we don't want to see it go. So fingers crossed in the next hour we might have some information. But other than that, maybe next week we'll have an announcement. A rescue package is needed. The workers are on furlough at the moment, but we need something more sustainable. Rachel, so interesting to listen to you describe that meeting going on behind you. The GMB meeting with Ben Houchen, the Tory Tees Valley Mayor, uh, the MP for Darlington and Sedgefield, both now Conservative mm. MPs. It's such a radically different uh, political environment up there. I bet the GMB and the, the <laughs> decades of meetings with MPs and politicians up there. I mean, this, it's extraordinary, isn't it? This will never have, uh, have happened. A lot's changed. And, you know, when the Hartlepool went blue, um, we said it back then, people here have been referring to it as the Ben Houchin effect. He sort of swooped in and made promises and saw them through. And you can't, you can't really argue with that. You know, this, this morning he's talking about million pound investments here and there, more jobs. And, you know, people's jobs are at risk right now. And to his credit, he's in there trying to sort something out. So hopefully he'll come out with a, go with a government uh, rescue package. Wouldn't that be amazing? Let's see. We certainly will see. Rachel Sweeney, thanks for your reporting there. We know you'll be back on our screens as soon as you've got news. In the meantime, it's good to see you.